Hello, everyone. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why when it comes to our health, we do have to look at the whole picture. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Meena Puri. I'm an Ayurvedic practitioner, counselor, speaker, and author. I talk about everything, um, consciousness, spirituality, health, and healing, and the ancient Vedic sciences of longevity and disease prevention called Ayurveda and yoga. So when we look around with the awareness it, at the height, the awareness is really increasing. So that is shedding light on everything that is dark within our psyche. So that's why we see a lot of people suffering and we are having conversations and we know that almost every second person there's an issue of anxiety or depression and relationships there's a lot of um, chaos and upheaval so on the surface it looks like oh my god the world is falling apart but actually it's a falling apart to be put back together again in order for us to heal it's necessary that we see so the seeing is what makes the patterns or the traumas to play themselves out in our life so we can see them. So in my practice, I have helped thousands of women heal from past trauma and healing the past trauma improves their relationships, improves their health, improves their confidence and they become their own healer. So I feel that in the Western world, we have really made health and healing so complex because we continue to chase that, um, you know, the scientific evidence. We continue to chase and just get into some philosophical arguments about what works, what doesn't. Honestly, what works is within your own experience. Remember that science is derived from human experiences. In order for humans to experience what we experience, we are not waiting for science to give us a you know, stamp of approval, okay? The proof is in the pudding. When something works for you, it works for you. If it works for you, don't worry about it. Why do you need scientific evidence? It's gonna come, you know, we're gonna spend a lot of resources in proving that which is how it is, which is good if people need that. But if something works for you, it works for you. So, and I also feel that in the Western culture, we have really made, like I think I made that point earlier, that we've made it really complex. We have confused ourselves and those around us about health and healing. So when it comes to your health, when it comes to so these two are different terms health and healing i talk them i talk about them together because many times when we think about health we're thinking about physical health when we're thinking about healing we're thinking about the whole being that is aligned mind body and spirit and is a joyous happy a fulfilled being so i talk about them together so there is no confusion so when it comes to our health, why must we look at the whole picture? Number one, it is not a secret that Western medicine is a medicine of the symptoms. It's a, it's a medicine of disease management, which if, we, if that's what we need and if that's what we choose, then that is what we choose. But the reason why it works on sym symptomology alone, because it's a surface, it's just looking at the physical illnesses and it does not look at the root cause, okay? That's not what the Western medicine's uh, expertise is. Their idea of root cause is taking the blood test, the x-rays and really separating and diagnosing well. And so they can, figure out what the protocol is, but it's still all physical. There is no, nothing about your non-physical is involved in the treatment or the diagnosis of your disease. So 
we know that it's only for, you know, to help us reduce our symptoms. It does not look at the root cause. That's why we continue to get side effects and we put a symptom on one of the, we, we, we take a medication or band it one symptom, something else comes up. So health is not just about having no symptoms in the body. It's about how are you feeling? <laughs> are you happy? Are you feeling fulfilled? Are you calm? Are you able to sleep peacefully at nighttime? Do you feel the joy? And that's not the forte of Western medicine. Western medicine saves lives. It's needed. It's there. But please understand, it does not look at the root cause. So in order for us to heal deeply, we need to look deeply. We need to look at the root because when we change something at the root cause, to make changes on the physical level becomes that much more easier. Number two, we cannot heal when we separate our physical body from the non-physical body. We can't separate mental health from physical health. We cannot separate our living from spirituality. We are one living, dynamic, alive organism. Everything affects everything else. We're not parts of a machine that we can fragment and then replace when something is out of whack. That's what we do. We do replace, you know, body parts, surgeries. And again, if that's what you have to do, then thank God you have that available. But we're talking about if you really want to heal, you have to look at the whole picture. It's not a fragmented approach. Third thing is healing is about self-empowerment. Healing is about knowing. Healing is about connecting the truth of who you are. Healing is about uh, connecting with the reservoir of a deep knowing and wisdom that all of us possess within ourselves. When you go through the deeper healing work, you become your own self-healer. You learn. You have knowledge. You know what to do when things get challenging. You know how to fill yourself up. So it makes you reliant upon yourself. So when we have done the deeper healing work, every little challenge, we're not running to the experts or the doctors or the psychiatrists to get that help because nobody, and here's the truth, I don't care how much technological advances there are. I don't care how profoundly knowledgeable doctors and healers are. Ultimately, you are your own healer. Nobody knows you like you do. The expert will take you to that knowing. It's going to give you the power back to you. You become your own teacher. The teacher will remove the darkness that is within each one of us so he or she can show you the light that you are. When you connect with that light, you become your own guru. You become your own teacher. So it's about taking your power back. And actually, I'm going to talk about the fourth bonus point, which is healing is about being compassionate. Healing is about loving our humanity. Healing is about not placing judgments on everything. Healing is about tuning into the purity and the innocence of the deep love, the heart within us. Healing is about knowing your soul. Soul is absolute. It's not good, it's bad. It's just, it's light. So once you get to know that, once you get closer to that, isn't that what we're all seeking? Don't you think that when you go deeply and look at the whole picture, so many of the problems, the anxieties, the depressions, the relationships that we chase, the happiness that we chase on the outside, we are swimming in information. We don't know if to eat this or if to eat that. We are, you know, when you begin to heal yourself, you go on an info diet. Don't watch any information. Don't take on more information. It's about learning just a handful of things. We don't have to know it all. Learning just a handful of tools. Apply them. They work once, they work all the time. Apply 
again and again. So you keep filling yourself up. So when there is a challenge, you have enough resources. You are resourcing within yourself. You have even resources to navigate through those challenges. Okay, so that is what the video was all about. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like, share, comment. And what I want to invite you is, are you ready? Are you truly ready to heal from the inside out? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you sick and tired of dabbling on the surface and then just spending years and spending more and more resources? Then I invite you to book a 30 minute healing breakthrough session with me. Let's figure out what's going on with you. Let's see if you are ready for more support, where the challenges are, what program you're suited for. I want to help you. But the first step is that you have to take that first step. I have a, a big program that I'm launching begins in October. I'm going to put the link for this on my calendar so you can schedule your 30 minutes. Even if you're not qualifying for that program, I can still give you some insights. I can still set a little path for you that you can begin to follow. So it's a huge opportunity for you. And if you do decide to do that, it would be my honor to guide you. I have helped thousands of women. I've been in this practice over 25 years. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you have a question, please put it in the comments. Tell me what you took away. Um, any comment that you make, you know, it makes it reach tons of more people. So maybe there are a lot of people who need to hear this. I many times will say the same thing in so many different ways because human psyche human is complex. We can look at the same thing from so many different angles. And sometimes it's just the way, it's just the thing that somebody needed to hear. We need inspiration these days, right? We need a voice of reason. We need light. We need to inspire others. We need to take inspired action. Inspiration, reminders, and the right support we need. And I'm offering that to you. So click the link if you're interested. And I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you so much again.